Okay, so first we finally have the nice grill and everything on there now. The car's on ramp still, it's jacked up. It's definitely not as low as it will be, but now you can see what the total front of the car is gonna look like. I had to wait because I had to paint these little, tiny little parts right here. And then, after I did it, I realized I forgot to put these little corner pieces, so I had to take the whole grill and everything back out. That was a real pain. All right, let's pop the hood. All right, so this is where the magic is to me. I love this under here. Under here. It came out a lot like I, I really, really envisioned it. See the valve covers are painted. I added these springs to pop up the hood. I cut a little hole in there, added them because I was having issues with it popping up. But you can see that beautiful contrast between the, the bronze slash pewter, more of a pewter color, and the candy blue. And I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. So that's all squared away. Let's close that up. Now the other thing I was having an issue with was the driver's door handle. And now, you see, it opens up nicely. There we go, that's all squared away. So I also have all three seat belts in the back. They're little lap belts, they're not the best. I got the e-stop kit in, I got the wires run, so whenever I make the center console, we will have that done, which hopefully will be soon. All right, now when you go into the car, I put my new trans pan in there. Now it's not leaking, it's nice. So now I just gotta buy new parts, and uh, that solved it. You see the little piece right there? I couldn't find it, so I had to make it. Let me show you. So this is my version. It's not quite as good, but it's pretty nice. Now, something else you'll notice is that my, my trunk is finally closed. I put the lock in. That was a real pain. The kit came with the wrong parts, but I went ahead and bought this cute little slider thing, cool little slider thing that went up in there and locked it in. So the thing that I'm not happy with that I've done is when we put this glass in, it just isn't right. I fit this whole frame in whenever I built it with the original glass, and I bought this new clear glass that's supposed to be the same concave as the original glass. So it's got a little dip in it, like this way, but it doesn't fit right. All three sides there fit perfectly, except this side. So the only way that, that is like that is if this is messed up. Because if, it, it, otherwise, it would be getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer as you go along there, but it's not. So I realize that it's not me, it's the glass. Kind of like it's not you, it's me. When you tell somebody when you're tired of seeing them, well, this is not me, it's the glass. Oh yeah, and the last thing, check it out. We got the mirrors on. We got the driver's side on. Had to make a little gasket for those, but they are mounted on there nice. Bing bong. All right, let's get to work now. I'm gonna be putting in this awesome, awesome kit from Moto. Uh, I found this, I, I was looking for some different solutions and I wanted to find an easy solution. So Moto makes some little brackets and they give you a little template for the electronic door locks because I don't have, I don't have door locks on my car on the outside, so. You've gotta be able to unlock it from the outside and you wanna be able to keep it locked up because I mean, it's an expensive car. So these little brackets, we're gonna mount these in and then they have a whole kit that kinda of goes with it. What's really cool, I open up the box and they have these little templates that show you exactly where to put the driver's door lock and all that stuff. And you have to use their solenoids though and their whole system, but when you do, it's all supposed to be pretty straightforward. So it gives you the little punch out things, tells you, shows you the pictures. Very, very straightforward. I watched the guy's video. Maybe I'll try to find a link to it. And he was very informative to it. This one is made specifically for a 69 to 72 Chevelle. They make other, other years. But it comes with the rods. It even comes with this super long drill bit kit that I'm going to love in the kit. So it's going to be great. And let me show you the, the little popper kit too. All right, so this is the door lock poppers right here. They're specifically for Moto, Moto Innovations. They're going to be really nice on the car. They're going to go in here. Got a little popper. Got little solenoids. Got it's just a nice setup. All right, now after showing you all that stuff, now I gotta get to work. Now I gotta do these door poppers so we can get a lot done in the car this week. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the driver's side. Gotta start somewhere, let's start with the driver's side. So you see, it's got this cool little template and it's got their name, Moto Innovations. Like I said, they do other stuff. I paid for this, they're not sponsoring me. I wish they would've, just to be clear. I'm not saying that like, like I got something against sponsoring people, but I'm just a small guy in a garage so nobody sponsors me really. There are two people that I would like to shout out for that have sponsored me over, over the time. Monkey Fab Garage, they, they, sell, they sell great stuff. They, they, they sent me my fuel, my fuel system, which I thought was so freaking cool. I, when I first started building my car on TikTok, they reached out to me and they said, hey, check it out. We love your build, man. We would just love to send you some stuff. Why don't you check our store and see what we have that you might use and we'll just send it to you for free. You don't have to make a video for it. You don't have to tell, tell anybody about it or anything like that. And I'm like, that's crazy, man. So I, I did. I sent them a list of stuff that I needed for my E85 system. They sent me some PTFE line that was just, that works incredible, man. And I'll tell you what, 
I, I'm, a, I'm a monkey fab fan for life. You see, I got their sticker right there. I've got it on a lot of my stuff. I, whenever they have it, I buy it there just because those guys love cars. They build cars just because they love it. Not, and they sell parts, you know, they, they fabricate stuff. They're just, they're just a great company. You want to do business with people who are actually car people. For me, like when I buy car parts, I want to buy them from a car people. You know what I mean? Not somebody who's just, I got nothing wrong with people making money. Let's just be clear about that. I make money. I have a business, you know. Everybody makes business money, right? When we go to work, we go to work to make money. So, so let's, 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 let's not try to lie about that or try to fake that, all right? So now I got this cut out. Now I'm going to tape it on the inside of the door. Let's see if I can figure that out. All right, so it looks like... We're gonna be putting this right here like this, I guess, the edge of the door. So let's tape it on here and then we'll drill it. And we'll see. If, not, if it doesn't work, <coughs> I know a guy who can weld. All right, let's check the picture. It looks like that's right. I wanna check the picture though, just to make sure. So they've got detailed photos. I wasn't sure about this. They have nice detailed photos in here showing exactly how to wire it up. I mean, exactly how to assemble it. And then they also show how you hook it up there. Very detailed photos. Driver side installation shown. For the car, it shows how it goes under the locking mechanism. I really like that. I'm very, very impressed. Very impressed. Wow. This is much better than any one I've ever gotten. Much better than even with the Kindig door handles, which were pretty good, but they fall, they fall far short of these. I'll just tell you that. So let's see what size drill bit they take. All right. So with this, it tells you to center punch these holes. Let's go ahead and do that. Center punch that right there. Boom. Boom. Got that one. One, two, three. Got that one. Now, it says to start with a 330 seconds drill bit. I use two of these Milwaukee uh, drills. This one is for like screwing and stuff or smaller bits, but I also have this M18 one, which is a bit stronger, but it's a little overkill for most things. So we're gonna go ahead and use, and I always use the Milwaukee, uh, the, the, these titanium bits. I absolutely love them. I pick them up at my local hardware store, but I'll, I'll put a link in the description so you can just get them yourself without even leaving your house. They're the best drill bits I've found. So let's go ahead and drill this 330 second first hole. There we go. Got that one. And now we do this other one. That one. There we go. All right, let's pull this off. Now we step it up to 316 bit. This particular kit comes with a whole bunch of bits. This is the one that I've been using. I'd say it's about 20 bits or so. It just gives all the ones that I, I usually need. I'll put a link to this one and I'll put some links to other ones too. But these, these things are just so, so, so incredible. That fast. That fast, man. I mean, it's like bing, bong, bang, done, you know? So they give you a long bit that will definitely work for the other thing. I need a light to be able to shine in there, so let's get a light. This is by far my favorite headlamp so far. I mean, this thing just works incredible to me. I mean, just freaking incredible because it's like, bam, you know? It's like so easy to use. Now let's assemble the bracket. The cool thing is, it shows you exactly how to, how to, how to set it up too. You don't even have to question, like, where do I do it? It shows you. So let's do that. All right. So we have this bracket. This is the driver's side orientation. So we put this bracket facing down. We'll take this actuator like this. Oh, look at that. It already comes with a little plug, too. I like that. Ooh. Man, that's fancy. Okay, this is going to go on here. So we need to find the little screws that come in the kit to do that. Oh, they're in the bag. Check that out. How convenient is that? We're going to put those right in there like that. I'm guessing we screw it from the other side. Yep, we sure do. All right, so this goes on the back side here. Power tools, man. I tell you, I would have I would have killed to have these things when I was younger. Man, it just would have been crazy. Nice. That feels nice and solid. That's nice and solid. I like that. That's quality, man. Quality stuff. All right, so now we put the little hook on here. This one says driver side. So we put the little hook this way like this, and then we should be able to set it in the actuator. All right, so what we gotta do is we gotta cut out that little section right there. I'm gonna drill it out. 730 seconds hole. Bing bong, Bob's your uncle, right there. Let's take that out. Let's drill that one. There we go. All right, now this lock part here looks like this. Oh man, that's sweet. Look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Man, I couldn't have engineered that any better. All right, let's put this in the car. Man, that's just, wow, that's so easy. All right, that's money, man. All right, so now we put the lock back in. We'll do that first. So if you're doing this on a Chevelle, the bit for the lock, the bit for the lock is a lot bigger. It's not a standard screw. It's more of like the old impact style. There we go, got that in. Bing bong, Bob's your uncle. And my hood rat ass neighbors riding around their fucking golf carts, booming music like they're in the hood. All right, so the nut on the backside is 11.30 seconds. Phillips bit. 
Let's go ahead and tighten this down now. There we go, man, look at that. All right, let's try this wiring. All right, now this, this Power Probe 4, this is a tool you never knew that you needed. But let me show you exactly why you want one of these. It makes electrical stuff so much easier. Okay, so all you do is you take one connection here, one connection there, and now you have power to this probe. Now let me show you why that's important. Okay, now with a simple ground wire, see I can show this, this shows it's ground. Now I can use this to energize circuits. So I'm gonna tap one side with the ground, and then if I hit this forward, it clicks it. Okay, so that's already locked. Now we're gonna go the other way. That's unlocked, locked. Man, that's so nice. That simply, now I know that my, my lock works. You know, it's so crazy. So this Power Probe 4 comes with such a long cable. I keep my battery, you know, my battery's in my trunk, of course, I got a remote mount battery. I can power stuff in the front of the car. I can check the ground right here. It just shows you ground or something like that, you know what I mean? It's really pretty straightforward, you know? And if I wanna energize a circuit, all you do is you push up on that and then it sends the voltage from the battery right to that tip. And if I wanna ground something, I do the, the bottom. And it has a breaker in it, so if you, if you, if I put this to ground and I do this, it just it just shows like that. It shows red. Now it resets itself. You can do so much more with this thing. You can you we used it to test the the injectors on the car. We to find out they were where they were firing. It also will even tell you the dwell time. This thing is absolutely crazy. I'm just scratching the surface on it. Anyway, that's what I use to test my stuff. <coughs> all right, so that's a wrap. I showed you how to install a lock. Now I'm going to wire it all up. That'll be the next video, but. I wanted to show you that how simple it is just to install parts with the right gear. You know, some of these kits that, that they sell, they just don't <laughs> give you everything. And they're missing some really important steps because they don't realize like, hey, somebody tried to install this and then they couldn't. You know, so shout out to Moto, Moto Innovations. Their, their parts, it just, it just worked out great. It just worked out great, you know what I mean? And that's what it's supposed to do, right? It's just supposed to work. And it, I couldn't have had a, I couldn't have had a better simpler system than what they did. And, and there's no, no, no reason to reinvent the wheel. Well, why would I want to do that? I mean, why? Because you know what? This thing is amazing. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. Click like and subscribe so you can see more cool stuff or stupid stuff, whatever stuff.